If you tune into the Golden Globes on Sunday expecting a monologue filled with sick Trump Burns, a la Jimmy Fallon's opening remarks last year, don't. This year's host, Seth Meyers, doesn't have time to waste on the president, that was the message from the late-night host when he spoke to The Hollywood Reporter on Thursday about his upcoming Globes MC job. While happy to take jabs at Donald Trump on his own show, Myers said he will most likely be leaving Trump out of the ceremony this year, but, of course, nothing is definite. I'm reserving the right to change my mind, Myers explained, who has worked in comedy news long enough to know a last-minute tweet could flip his script. Keep up with this story and more by subscribing no barring any new nuclear threats, though, the 44-year-old comedian said he has bigger and better things to mock, especially this year with everything that's happened in Hollywood, it seems far more important to have the focus there as opposed to anything that's happening in Washington, he said, referring to Hollywood's ongoing conversation regarding sexual harassment and assault stemming from the October allegations against Harvey Weinstein. Seth Myers and wife Alexi Ash arrive on the red carpet for the 2014 Golden Globe Awards. Frederick J. Brown, AFP, Getty Images, My first instinct was, oh, this is the worst year to host, he admitted. And then I had conversations with my wife and with the women on this staff, and we all agreed it's an opportunity to be able to say some things that you wouldn't be able to say in previous years, Myers explained that he relied heavily on his wife, human rights attorney Alexi Ash, to help him craft jokes around a topic that doesn't always lend itself to joking. Though Myers handled the issue fairly well on his late-night show, I don't know if I would have wanted to do this without her counsel in talking about it, he said, and she's a smart enough woman to know that I probably shouldn't have done it without her help, so a Golden Globes without any Trump. That would be a drastic change from last year, which featured Meryl Streep's impassioned presidential takedown in her acceptance speech. For his part, Trump supposedly wants Hollywood elite, like Streep, to leave him alone. Whether they do or not, and how he responds either way, will certainly be documented on the president's Twitter timeline Sunday. If he tweets that he's disappointed we didn't bring him up, I'd be thrilled, said Myers. That would fly in the face of what currently he believes is the problem, which is that we won't stop talking about him.